going on, Wolfpack Nation? Welcome back again for part two here of our Tuffy Talk live show continuation episodes. Tuffy Talk After Dark. Part two, baby, here. So again, thank you all so much for tuning back in. Just as a reminder, again, if you haven't already, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're notified on all your devices whenever we go live with any Tuffy Talk content. And also, too, if you don't mind, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. And also, too, give us a follow Tuffy Talk now on Twitter and Instagram. So with that being said, again, we were talking about men's basketball. And, uh, you know, obviously, this is kind of, uh, you know, hopefully, just like you said, you know, eat it for sure. And it, it, it's tough. You know, I think that for, you know, us, you know, who have been kind of been on the boat of like, guys we need to sell out pnc arena we need fans there it's like okay listen you know then day now we're just gonna we're just gonna let keats you know finally get us one and obviously you know as of this recording or as as this episode coming out uh probably by that time we'll be preparing for the game at miami and that's a game going against 701 miami that if you can pull that off i think all the nc state fans should finally be like okay Oh, that that's that I got I you got my attention now because I mean again Miami's definitely no joke and playing at Coral Gables I mean you know it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be an interesting play for sure um but you know and then the interesting game too which uh you know kind of uh, look at the schedule here coming up is a December 22nd hosting Louisville and man that I'll tell you like you know like we were talking in in during the live show about how you know, even though a lot of state fans make a plan about state football that, you know, there's way worse out there, you know, as much as, you know, obviously we're not really thrilled with where we are men's basketball, but we are seeing, starting to see a little bit of upturn. Dude, Louisville, man, like Florida, you state. know, in Florida state, <laughs> but I mean, but like, again, nobody, I feel like puts more chips into a basket in the ACC as much as Louisville that has done with that. Has, so I guess what I'm saying, let me take that back. Because obviously, yes, UNC Duke got that. But Louisville cares a lot about men's basketball. Why? Because they got Kentucky to deal with. So if yeah. they're going to go peak with Kentucky, they have to care a lot about men's basketball. And they do not they do not have a win on the season yet, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this is a crazy time, to say the least, for sure, for Louisville men's <laughs> basketball. And Louisville sports in general, football is bad for them right now. What the heck they got yeah. right now? Not a coach. Not a coach. <laughs> so, you know, uh, so I mean, I mean, you know, kind of talk a little bit here, like ACC wise. I mean, again, UNC is the first number one overall preseason to lose yeah. four games in a row, which I mean, you know, is, you know, hilarious, say least. But it's also, you know, thinking back, you know, about, you know, Duke is solid for sure. I mean, they're up there. Um, but Virginia. and obviously Virginia Tech is going to be solid. Virginia is solid. Virginia. But. It's, it, it seems like it's going to be another weird year in the ACC. That's what it really seems like for me right now. Yeah, Syracuse has not been really good. Notre Dame did have a nice win um, last week uh, against Michigan State. Uh, that was a nice win in the Big Ten. Virginia ACC. Tech beat Carolina in Blacksburg. Yep. Yep. So, yep. Yep. Without Armando Baycott, though, that's the only thing which I'll kind of asterisk I'll throw in there, too, which I don't know if that yeah, is Yeah, but they a lost a lot of other but... games with Armando Baycott this last week, too. So That's true. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know. I think Virginia Tech is probably going to be in a good spot this year. Um, I think Wake Forest could be a sneaky team, but they don't have the same players they did last year. Um, yeah. Virginia is number three in the country right now, and so we're just going to not talk about them a whole lot. But It's boring. Uh, yeah, Virginia is. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So that's what they're that's their motto they're living by. So and, you know, and, 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 and real quick on Virginia, they had a an off year last year by their standards for sure. I don't think they made the tournament. No, if I'm, if I'm no. I don't think they did. Virginia, Not that I don't think they did either. I don't think no, no. They did either, Virginia. So. I don't remember. Um, don't remember. I think I think a team that I mean I, I think I think Duke's going to figure things some things out here. I, obviously, all of these teams. It's not March yet. Still so early, yeah. Yeah, they'll yeah, figure yeah, it out. But, no. um, but once the if, once the if, calendar year flips over, it'll get it'll get more serious. I, I honestly, I think state could be the sneaky team, one of the sneaky teams this year. Yeah. Um, I, I think people may overlook, but um, you know, if you're going to lose to teams like Pittsburgh, I mean, there's yeah, that's, that's just a joke. I think you're so, going to have yeah. to not with the look. way it's looking right now. I think you're going to have to go at least twelve and eight in the ACC, mm-hmm. if not better. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, right, right, just. Like this isn't going to be a year where you can go ten and ten in the I, ACC I, I, I and think, get a tournament bid. I think we're looking at probably six, maybe seven bids in the ACC, and that might even be high. It might yeah. be like five or yeah. six. Um, yeah, as it stands right now, year. it's like yeah. a not so great year. I think state, I think the ACC, if they're they they would want state if they can somehow get that. I don't want any of those teams, but I think, um, I think Virginia Tech is going to be one of those teams. I think Virginia is going to be one of those teams. It'd be a good year for the Virginia schools. When I think about it, um, yeah. yeah. But 
ACC we'll did win the Big Ten Challenge. This which is, I know. Which I would have, if you would have told me uh, w- the week before that, I would be like, no way. Like, the yeah, ACC is no not way. playing good basketball. But it's also against matchups, mm-hmm. too. I mean, you, if you match up favorably yeah. against yeah. one team, um, then, you know. You can take advantage. Yeah, it's exactly. one game. So, yeah. but. Mm-hmm. Yep. So And the last again, year of it, just, too, by the way. We, we haven't really talked right. about that. Yep. So Right. Sure. Going to the SEC. Yep. Uh, you know, which I mean, to me, like if somebody asked, like, you know, what, what's what's the reason for that? And I, I mean, for me, I just, yeah, exactly. Just said, you know, follow new fo- blood, follow the, you know, the follow the money trail. You guys remember money, too. Money, money, money. That's um, money. Yeah. 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 Um, Pink Floyd. Um, but the um, <laughs> really it's the ACC um, and big um, sorry, ACC and SEC relationship with ESPN. ESPN. Where, yeah. yeah. Whereas Big Ten is more of a Fox um sports mm, network that. so that's that's probably cool. the main reason why for it sure so but again i mean i mean from from a from a from a fan perspective too like i mean you it's know nice if you could do nc state versus florida or something like that it's like okay yeah. cool like you know some some Don't new instead of having to play brad davison and the wisconsin floppers i still so. remember that game <laughs> we played years ago when they launched that three-quarter oh, shot of florida against nc state to win the game florida, i yeah. still remember yeah. that that's, yeah. that's, that's a bad years, that's a, yeah that's a bad years. example if that didn't go in, that would have changed Sidney Lowe's career forever. <laughs> that's for sure. sure. So, Chandler Parsons. Uh, that was Chandler Parsons. It was. That was Chandler Parsons. Hey, yeah. look at you, yeah. Michael. Yeah. Trivia yeah, winner right I, here. Yeah, it's burned in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't unsee it. Yeah. You yeah. can't unsee it. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. So, yeah. So, definitely a game. I think where we are with men's basketball is just, you know, patience. Obviously, I mean, by this point, Copeland State would have played. Hopefully, we take care of that. Not really too much there. But I do got to say, though, one thing we do got to talk about. Those throwback unis, though, Ooh, golly, yeah. man! Like, like, so like here's the thing. I, well, well, because again, it's not only just how cool they are; it's me thinking about them playing in Rails Coliseum. I'm like, ooh, yeah. Well, that's thing is, nice. Why that, that? Everybody's talking about social, social media. Those should be the baseline. That should be when you play jerseys. Carolina. No, they should do that every like that. Literally, should be oh, yeah. the jerseys we use all the time. Like, like they like oh, these like red these jerseys that are like the old school kind of looking jerseys. Are so sweet. They needed. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they don't stick with that. But they feel like the need to go and do something Flashy. more modern. And maybe. Yeah. Well, I wonder if it's just because they have, um, they have, you know, uh, deals they have to do with, Adi- uh, with uh, Adidas and has to make new stuff. If it's not, yeah, it's always the old Probably stuff. It's not really innovative there. But I don't. I don't yeah. know what the deal is. I, I, I love those jerseys so much more than some of our other jerseys we've, we've done. So. Yeah. Um, so, so speaking of Adidas yeah. and their competitor, what, does anyone have any thoughts on Under Armour moving in on campus? Well, and see, and see, Mike and I were talking about that at dinner last night, and yeah. uh, you know, because because obviously the reason is because you yeah. know, I mean, it has one of the best textile yeah. schools yeah. in the country. So, Macon, since you are a textile uh, graduate, let's hear mm. your thoughts, my man. Well, it's not just the country; it's the world. So I'm gonna make sure I admit that it's literally yeah, the, world in the world. Short. Yeah, go for it. Um, so I don't know. I think that I don't really know what that's got all to do with it. I think that's purely business at yeah. this point. I don't think it's got anything to do with you know jerseys or anything like that. Making so, wears his Under Armour. Yeah, NC State I see movie. what you. Did it's like there. the one. Red, it's you know hard <laughs> yeah. to find NC State. Yeah. I you know I got this at the Red and White Shop when I think it was yeah. technically it's called the Go Pack Store at that point. So oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember the Go Pack Store. I think it's yeah. I think it's strictly like academic like no yeah, they make they make some nc state anything. stuff nike you can probably find old nike stuff nc state yeah i got um, some stuff but well, uh yeah, go back to the jersey the whole point of the conversation i i love the new jerseys they're gonna be wearing for this game in reynolds i really wish they would do more games with those kind of jerseys that's what i'm, that's what so. I'm saying they need to wear that for the carolina game the home carolina yeah. game yeah, because I'm all for it. Because it'll be it'll be in February, so you know that'll be officially the 40 year anniversary. Because now you'll be in 2023, mm-hmm. where the, they're wearing it. This yeah. one is mm-hmm. technically 2022. So, um, yeah, True. pull them back out for that game. So, what? Well, and, and the one thing which I will say is it just kind of disclaimer to all NC State fans is uh, Under Armour's not doing too hot right now. So if 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 if, yeah. if, if, <laughs> if anybody can go ahead and get your you know Under Armour shoes while you can, I mean, you know that I. Just throwing that out there. So maybe this un- maybe this move in the NC State thing is kind of like a a last ditch effort. Like you know, let's see if we could pair up with you know the best you know textile school in the Probably, world yeah. and see if that can you know help us you know figure some things out to you know keep us relevant. Um. So, uh, but but also too, it just goes back to now because I mean you know you think back to when New Balance was the uh, uh, sponsor for for Boston College, mm-hmm. uh, you know doing their jersey stuff like that. Mm, they were bad. And, and I'm thinking to myself, you're going, man. 
I'm so glad we're Adidas. Like, you know, or, Adidas is or, so nice. Or even worse, Russell Athletic for Georgia Tech. That's yeah, right. That was the That's one right. I was bring up. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, but it's crazy though. Think about that. I mean, we are on the cusp. I mean, if if Under Armour really does go belly, which is crazy. To think about because, like, what about? I mean, we talked about Maryland. What the heck is yeah. Maryland going to do? They're the flagship. I mean, they're, they're 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 the Oregon to Nike that you know yeah. for for Under Armour. You know, I mean, like, what the heck is Maryland going to do? What is South Carolina going to do? I mean, South Carolina's a big you know uh, yeah. Under Armour school. W- Wisconsin, so. I think, is a big Under Armour school too. Um, yeah, they were, they were at one point. I know they were Adidas at one point. I don't know point. what they are now. I know uh, Under Armour was big with Northwestern. Northwestern. Yeah, I know no, mm-hmm. nor, um, Northwestern. Uh, Under Armour was big with Notre Dame for a minute and UCLA. So, but they both both of those schools mm-hmm. got out of that contract. So, yeah, very interesting, very different for sure. Um, so yeah, so so definitely again, uh, you know, just FYI about Under Armour for those who don't, didn't know that already, make sure to keep an eye out because it could. I mean, it, it's 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 any time deal. So with that being said, though, I wanted to finally jump back into here, talk about some, uh, actually, before we talk about women's basketball, let's go and talk about the man, the myth, the legend, Trey Turner, man. I mean, dude, I, I'll tell you, NC State baseball, and this is, this is what I'm saying, NC State baseball is in the best position as a program it ever has been because of a lot of reasons. First of all, obviously, the Doak Field renovations. Uh, you know, I mean, that is, that is a huge recruiting tool being like, look at this new tool you're about to get here. Uh, but also, too, on top of it, you literally have uh, – Trey Turner now getting 11 years, $300 Probably. million dollars by the Philadelphia, yeah. Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies. And that's guaranteed money, then, too, because baseball contracts are guaranteed. Baseball not, is guaranteed. Not yeah. like NFL. Right. So Right. And, and then, there's and no this, cap. There's no cap. I can pay them whatever they want to. That's right. Crazy. Right. And then Carlos Rodon, I don't know if he got signed yet, yeah. but, but he'll get signed well, somewhere. The rumor is so, he might be going to the Phillies, too. Right. Oh, that'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. <laughs> uh, so, so again, I mean, like, you know, that's two huge recruiting tools right there being like, hey, listen, y'all, we brought in two guys that were, I mean, well, Trey Turner wasn't really overly highly recruited. Uh, no. Carlos Rodon was really highly recruited. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we took Trey Turner to now being the only guy in MLB history that uh, let me bring up that st- let me bring up that stat one one more time. This is a pretty crazy yeah. stat. So the 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 players in MLB history with a thousand hits, a hundred home runs, and two hundred stolen bases in their first one thousand career games. There's only one guy, Trey Turner. Like that's crazy. To think about that. That right now, an NC State baseball player is arguably the best Most shortstop yeah. in all of baseball right now. That's crazy. Yeah. All of baseball. Uh, that's just it. He does everything, and we're not. We we. You just laid out his his offensive stats. His his WAR is off the charts good, and mm-hmm. um, he's a really good defensive shortstop. Like people don't yes, give him enough is. credit for his defense. Um, I was really I, sweet. Uh, 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 clips of him slides. His oh slides, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That home, that home, that home uh, sliding home was probably one of the coolest. Um, did you ever see the one? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I think it was they played it to Smooth Criminal. Did you ever see like that yes. version? Oh my goodness! Yeah, that was like yeah. so good. But I give a shout. I think Corey Smith from Pack Prize one that put that together. So shout was it? Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't know who put it. I just remember seeing it. But yeah, I I'm still better. He left Washington. I always enjoyed going to the ballpark and watching see him. You know, every game and just yeah. Now he goes to my most hated team in all of sports, the city of Philadelphia. So I. It's going to pay yeah. me to root for him. So I'll root for the man, <laughs> yeah. not the team. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Jessup Insurance Group, that has your whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessup protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Well, again, I mean, I, I, all we can hope for is that, you know, maybe a half a percent of that 300 million can make its way back to NC State. Maybe that'd be nice. But, you know, uh, yeah. you know, I, I mean, I, I know Just he's been involved. One percent, Carl. Uh, yeah. One percent of one percent. One percent. Yeah. What, what, yeah. What is that? Well, it, you know, it, it's like the investing. Million. 30 million. Is yeah. 30 million. 1%? Yeah. Oh, 1%. Yeah. 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 Well, no, one, sorry. One percent would be 3 million. million. Excuse me. Yeah. I, I, I said 3 million. million. Yeah. I, I thought that number was right. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. No, it's okay. My math's yeah. not good. I don't know fingers and toes. <laughs> so, but, but, but 
point proven is that i mean you know with nc state baseball i mean right now it, it's it's a great time right now and because the beautiful thing too is i think it's pretty much written in stone that i mean you know event will be here for you know a few more years and then and then coach hart will be the the guy taking over because there's no other reason why coach hart would still be here otherwise so i mean i think that's pretty much you know written in between the lines it's going to happen one way or another it's just a matter of when so i mean hey listen you know, it, it's it's a great time now. I mean, I know obviously a lot of people may still be scratching their heads with you know number forty seven leaving, going you know that's going to hurt, whatever. but but whatever, dude. Carter Trice is a real deal. Is it, I mean, like we're gonna have a lot of it, offensive wide fire. Is player. it four players we have in, in in actual MLB right now, or is it just the three? Because you have Kisner. Uh, well, in 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 within the far like you know, not not like, not in the pipeline, in, but actually in in the in, show in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it three uh, or Kisner. Four? And I was thinking the kid from the place with the Giants, Will Wilson, yeah, or Patrick Bailey, uh, Bailey, right? Is it Bailey, or is he still working his way through? He's in the majors, yeah. I think he's still working he's still his working way through. through. Okay, so then it's, th- but, it's probably three then. But they're high on the list, they are, for sure. Yeah, yeah, they got some AAA guys. So, well, actually, so. Denard, he made it. Joe, Denane. Joe, Denane. 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 thank you, the Marlins. Yeah, the yeah, he had a cup of coffee last year. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be on the. Yeah, I think he got sent back down. Yeah, I know yeah. he was up and down, but yeah. So he we have first, like he had we have two, run. two in the uh, two, two definitely full timers, and then we got another three or four that are right on the cusp of uh, being full timers. So, um, yeah. that's probably never happened in the history of pack baseball. Um, no, definitely nobody of this caliber of Trey Turner right, for sure. Right. I mean, dude, no. that dude, that dude, that dude is in a realm of his own right now within NCAA baseball galore. That's for sure. So, uh, you know, again, huge shout out to Trey Turner, huge shout out to Carlos Rodon, shout out to Coach Avon, all these guys in state baseball. Justin Cook, our man, Justin Cook, I know he's smiling from ear to ear right now because there's definitely never been a better time to be an in state baseball fan True right story. now, that's for sure. So, uh, now moving on to some women's basketball here. So, we just got done actually talking about uh, women's basketball beating Georgia 65 to 54. Again, that revenge game from last year, one of NC State's few losses at home, actually. Yeah. Uh, First last time we've year ever beaten Georgia. Georgia. And women's really? basketball. Hmm. Yeah, they were 0-9 wow. before that. So Wow. That's that's a big stat. Cool. Yeah. And then on top of that, too, obviously uh beating number 10 Iowa. And uh, you know, ESPN obviously, you know, they you know, per per ESPN, Caitlin Clark was just playing basketball. There wasn't any scores. It was no just playing team. Caitlin Clark just making ba- making yep. baskets. Like, you know, who the heck knows who there who Iowa was playing. That's but, what, that's what, I, that's what yeah. my tweet said. If it wasn't for the box score at the bottom of the, the game, you wouldn't have never known who played in it against no. Caitlin Clark. It was Caitlin Clark against some team in red. Yeah, pretty pretty much. And 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 you say a team in red because that was just who you saw on the screen yeah. around Caitlin Clark. That's but all, that was man, it. That's all you know and say. Yeah. So uh, but definitely got to talk a little bit about that game was again. I mean, it was definitely a impressive game to say the least from, especially since we started off pretty slow. And I mean, you know, we were talking during the watch party and for those who tuned in, I mean, Michael, and I pretty much said, listen, we need diamond Johnson. We need Sanaya rivers. We need Camille hobby to step up. And all three of those stepped up. Yeah. Sanaya rivers had her breakout game yeah. for sure. Would she have 22? Uh, I think she had, yeah, uh, she had 22 shot nine for 11. She shot nine was, like, for uncon- eleven. That's unconscious. Yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, and 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 she was three for four for three for from three. I mean, and and two rebounds, five assists. Uh, again, I mean, just she she finally was everything that we expected. Yeah. You know, coming in as such a highly recruited talent, and obviously too on top of it with an obvious chip on her shoulder from from you know how she left South Carolina. So you know, finally seeing that, I was like, yes. That's what we've been waiting on. Finally. Like, and, you know, yeah. and I'm going to add tonight against Georgia, you know, she a different a player game. emerged, oh, yeah. Mimi, yep. Collins. Mimi Collins. Best had a big game, game of her time so her state. She had 19 yep. points. Yeah, I mean, I think transfer. that's like eight, eight rebounds. A yeah. lot of them were done at the free throw line, but a lot of them were just, just – uh, State won this game, in my opinion, with their interior play yeah, the, yeah. against Georgia. Yeah. We're just watching it. And, uh, yeah, Mimi Collins, 19 points, eight rebounds, one assist. Well, and I think you can say game. part of that She's is due to the – to Jada's absence, right? You needed someone to step up in Jada's in Jada's well, absence. Yeah. yeah, what she did. Yeah, um, she just did. going back to that Iowa game real quick. Um, you know, Caitlin Clark had her 44, 45 points, whatever it was. State had five players in double figures. So that's 50 mm-hmm. points right there. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Iowa had another player in double figures other than Caitlin Clark, if if my memory serves me correctly. I think they had one with eight. Um, I but I don't so. remember yeah. for sure. That, that that sounds correct to me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, pretty much, pretty much, it was just Caitlin Clark versus NC State. <laughs> yeah. That was the game. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and again, I mean, 
first of all, I mean, again, obviously we're 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 more hating on ESPN really than necessarily Kaylin yeah, Clark. Hey, and hey, and they listen, Kaylin Clark. Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people Jeez. might say uh, might say uh, uh, the center from uh, from South Carolina, Boston, Nia Boston, Aaliyah Boston, Boston. Aaliyah but, Boston. But but Kaylin Clark, she's she's one of the best players I've ever seen. But but the I, difference I, I is mean, those like, Aaliyah Boston has surrounding talent where you can arguably mm-hmm. say that she oh. Caitlin doesn't. I mean, look, they've already got three losses and they were in the top ten last yeah. week. You know, they're, they're Caitlin Clark yeah. was the number ten team in the country. It's the like, Caitlin like Clark, yeah, yeah, Caitlin yeah. Clark fi- Hawk fighting Hawk Hawkeyes. She is the number team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she was just like launching threes but clearly yeah. clearly now, now state had to score 90 some points on the road which i to think win was like that game like their highest it was output. a high scoring that's game really that's a really challenging thing to do and um mm-hmm. they did it so, tough environment yeah. too they had a good crowd they had a nice crowd in there so yeah. well that and again the beautiful thing which i loved is every single time iowa made a three and we're like trying like you know the crowd was getting up and they were trying to make a run we would make a great, shot. Great, that next great shot answer. every all, single time. There was always an answer. Always every an single answer. time there was an answer. Yeah, it was yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so you know, again, it just goes back to, you know, that obviously there was a lot of worry with, uh, you know, obviously NC State playing, you know, not well at all against UConn. Going, you know, is this a story or is this a just a blip on the radar? Yeah, and, and that was another uh, game with a slow so, start, right? And so it was right. the opposite of the UConn game. We never got back into it with UConn. Um, in right. UConn has what have watching both games. UConn definitely has a lot more talent than Iowa. Um, yeah. Sure. And, and the thing is, is uh, uh, UConn has a, UConn doesn't really rely solely on their outside shot where um, Iowa put up a lot of threes and they went cold in that second half. Like they really went cold yeah. other than Caitlin. No. So Clay, Caitlin Clark literally attempted 28 threes. Yeah. Yeah. Her stat That's line crazy. is pretty, her, her stat line no, is no, no. crazy. Sorry. 28 field goals, 13 threes. I apologize. I oh. read that sideways. But still, it felt like all of them were out. It felt like all of them were threes. I mean, the fact that you believed me, I think, <laughs> I, says yeah. a lot. I, 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 would have, I would have believed it because it's, I mean, every I time I turned around, it. she was putting up a big shot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Did you, and are, a, do we even have her full <laughs> stat line here? So she had 40. So I'm going to pull this up here so I can find the full stat line for her. She had, she had 45 points in 39 minutes. So she, that's, that's really rare to see, guys. To even outscore your playing time, that's really yeah. hard to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she was she scored forty five points in thirty nine minutes. Okay, she had six rebounds, four assists, one steal, and three. Uh, she had four turnovers, um, and all of her rebounds were defensive rebounds. She, she was had a lot of free for, throws too. She was she shot fifty seven point one percent, which is sixteen for twenty eight. She was perfect at the free throw line. How many did she uh, shoot? And she was, Eight At least ten free throws. Eight, eight free okay. throws. It felt like, 10, felt like yeah. she shot, uh, and she was five for thirteen, which uh, thirty-eight and a half percent, pretty good. Yeah, no, for sure, pretty good. So <laughs> just, pretty good. Just not bad. Just to kind of wrap up a bow on women's basketball, we're off until Sunday. Um, we have a four-game home stand coming up. Uh, we have two mm-hmm. uh, two out of conferences, yeah. and then as soon as the calendar turns over, we start our ACC slate with Duke at home. Um, yep. so it'll, yep. it'll get a little bit tougher. I'm sorry. You know, our first home, I'm oh, sorry. I lied. De- December 18th is our first ACC game against Clemson and then Duke on December Correct. 29th and then all yep. ACC from there. Yep. Yep. And then it gets rolling. So again, I mean, it's, it's good to see different players get involved in this again, not having to rely on one player again tonight. You relied a lot on Mimi Collins and Camille hobby last week. We relied on light on. A lot on Diamond Johnson and Sonia Rivers. So again, I mean, it's a great team. And again, as long as you know whatever's happening with Jada Boyd is more, uh, you know, uh, preventative Gosh, really man. than necessarily any long term. Which I mean, I definitely see as a potential. You know that that you know Westmore wins, and I saying, hey, listen, Jada, we're just gonna just chill you out. You know, before AC play in a couple of weeks, and you know, just make sure you're 100. percent You know, and and go from there. Maybe you know. Yeah, we shouldn't need her for the next two. I will say, South Florida is going to be a good a good non conference game too. That's an eight. uh, That's an NCAA tournament team from last year. So, yeah, true. Look, you can't say at at Rails Coliseum. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully we should be able to take care of that with that. Um, So again, just obviously excited about what's going on with women's basketball. Uh, So I think that's pretty much uh, any any other storylines I'm missing, y'all. I'm trying to keep them all track in my head, Mm, but. I think that was pretty much no, it. Big one, just yeah, football. So, See what's yeah, just happen. football, y'all. 
which again, make sure again, we will definitely be doing a preview of the bowl game as we get a little bit closer here. So again, make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and also to, again, make sure to, uh, to tune in for our, for our, for our, our uh, Tuffy Talk live shows. Again, make sure again to, to tune in for our watch parties that we're going to be doing here for men's basketball here soon, for sure. We're going to come out with the whole schedule for that. Uh, but again, thank you all so much again for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all, uh, y'all support. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this and also to, to make sure to let us know that you enjoyed this. If you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. That will, that'll let us know that you enjoyed the, the, these episodes and also too as well. One thing which I'll even throw out there as well. If you ever have any, um, recommendations on, on content that we could provide or things we could do, let us know. DM us, uh, our Twitter uh, accounts, our Instagram accounts are open. Feel free to uh, DM us or even send us an email, uh, toughytalk1617 yeah. at gmail.com. Feel free to send us an email there. Uh, always looking for insights. The, again, then they, this is for Wolfpack Nation. Again, we love doing this and being a part you know, of Wolfpack Nation. Hope y'all get some enjoyment out of this. You know, maybe learn a couple of things, you know, which we're definitely no experts per se. Again, we're just five NC State fans here. Uh, the one other thing which I'll leave it on to, obviously, as you can see, one of our members, uh, uh, Mackenzie Blackwater, is still not with us here. She's obviously, uh, you know, so wrapped up, you know, obviously with the tough times of the holidays after still uh, just losing uh, her father, Chad Blackwater, um, you know, the cancer. So, again, just if you wouldn't mind, continue uh, your prayers, your thoughts for her and the Blackwater family. We'd really appreciate that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but thank you all so much uh, again for joining us. We will see you all soon. And as always, go back, baby. <laughs>